It's Tarantula Tuesday. Gramostola pulchra, commonly known as the Brazilian black tarantula, is a New World terrestrial tea most famous for its deep black velvet appearance. The Brazilian black comes from Brazil and Uruguay in South America. I say that because the G. pulchra is found in southern Brazil and the G. coroga is found in northern Uruguay. They are very similar in appearance and nearly indistinguishable to someone without a trained eye. The G. Kurogai may have been imported into the hobby as a G. Polkra and sold as the Brazilian black, but there isn't a definitive answer at the moment, and this is a topic for another day that has already been covered by more informed individuals, which I will link in the description. This species is a ground-dwelling, opportunistic burrower, meaning it will make its burrow under logs, rock overhangs, or in the empty burrows of other animals. Females of this species have lived as long as 30 years in captivity, while the male lifespan tends to be much shorter. There is no sexual dimorphism in color or pattern, with the main noticeable difference being size. So you will need to examine molts to determine sex, or wait till your male develops tibial hooks. Females of this species can grow to 6 or 7 inches in size, and are a thick, sturdy-looking tee. As slings, I keep my G. pulchra in small enclosures at least three times as long as the tarantula's leg span. I provide two or three inches for them to burrow and moisten a part of their substrate at least once a week. As adults, I keep them in a basic terrestrial setup with at least four to six inches of substrate and more width than height. I keep the substrate dry, provide a water dish and hide, and add a little sphagnum moss for aesthetics. This species' natural environment has temperatures that range from 65 degrees to nearly 80 degrees on average, but I keep mine at a comfortable room temperature between 68 to 74 degrees. This species has a medium to slow growth rate. I received my slings around three quarters of an inch, and within 14 months, they were nearly three inches or more in size. As is common with teas, the older they get, the less often they will molt, so the slower the growth rate may seem. As far as feeding, I feed my spiderlings over half an inch pre-killed small crickets or roaches twice a week until they refuse food during premol. As they grow over an inch, I provide a small cricket or roach no larger than its abdomen at least twice a week. Once they're juveniles, I will feed them three or four medium crickets at least once a week. And as adults, I usually feed two to three large crickets, sometimes a few more, at least once every couple of weeks depending on the size of the abdomen. This is a pretty laid-back tarantula and for some, the ideal tarantula to hold if you're into that sort of thing. Due to its docile temperament and pleasant demeanor, this makes for a great beginner tarantula. But remember, tarantulas can have different temperaments. So while mine may be chill and laid-back, yours may be more skittish and defensive. Their personality can change even after a molt, so always be sure to use a straw or paintbrush to get an idea of the tea's temperament before attempting to handle the tarantula. Being a New World species, this tarantula does have urticating hairs that can be very itchy if they get on your skin, so handle at your own risk. And keep this tarantula away from your face and eyes, and remember to wear gloves or wash your hands after handling, cleaning up, or rehousing this specimen. This tea is a great eater and mine usually has a dramatic feeding response. It spends most of its time on display hanging out in the open, but will hide in its burrow when approaching a molt. This species is not a heavy weber, and mine spends a lot more time motionless as opposed to walking around exploring her enclosure. The gentle nature, epic feeding response, resilience, and ease of care make this an ideal beginner tarantula. With its thick body and black velvet appearance, this is undoubtedly not only my favorite species of Gramostola, but one of my favorite New Worlds as well. What's up Tarantula Collective? I'm so glad you joined me for another episode. My name is Richard. What an amazing species. It's one of my favorites. I really like the Gramostola pulchra, uh, the Brazilian black as they say. And even though it didn't show up very well in the footage, it does have this really velvety, just deep black kind of uh, look to it. I named mine Lenore just because it kind of reminded me of uh, some Edgar Allan Poe poems. <laughs> I don't know. She just seemed dark and gothic to me. I, I, I don't know. 
Anyways, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, find us on Facebook. We got a very cool group there. Uh, you can come in, join the conversation. We've got all kinds of contest giveaways. Uh, I've also got an Instagram page. If you want to see uh, pictures of all these spiders in here, I'd love to have you follow me on that. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, it really helps us kind of get this information out there to new keepers and people that just uh, are unaware there's a whole subculture and underground community of tarantula keepers. I'm going to be at Tinley coming up here in just about a week or so. So if you're going to head out to the NARBC, be sure to, you know, stop by, say hello. I'll be hanging out around the Fear Not Tarantulas booth. Uh, we'll be shooting some interviews. We're going to be, uh, you know, taking some footage for a future video. Uh, also going to be doing a couple of live streams and doing some giveaways. We'll have uh, these t-shirts we just got in. They'll be for sale. I've got stickers. We've got buttons. Uh, we've got plans for uh, some hats and a couple other things uh, will be coming out here in the near future. So if, you, if you're interested in any kind of merch, uh, just come to the Facebook group, send me a private message. I'll get that all set up for you. Uh, working on a website right now. My friend is is working hard on that. Should be out here uh, a, a week or two. I'm, I don't know. Uh, but if you're watching this far in the future, you know, just the tarantulacollective.com. Come check us out. We'll have all of our upcoming dates where we'll be appearing, having meetups, stuff like that. We'll have all the YouTube videos, Instagram photos, merchandise, whatever. <laughs> It'll all be there, kind of one centralized location, uh, since we are kind of cross-platform on all these different social media sites. If you got any suggestions for species that you would like to see me cover in the future, be sure to leave those down below in the comments. Uh, I really enjoy reading those. This was actually a suggestion someone gave me a few weeks ago. I am uh, listening to those and taking that into consideration. We'll be doing this every Tuesday for the foreseeable future. So, you know, if you haven't already subscribed, that way you'll get notifications when uh, we release a new one. Already starting on next week's video. I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be, uh, I think you're going to like it. We're getting real close to a thousand subscribers. Uh, last I checked, we were like 880, something like that. So I'm uh, putting together a pretty cool giveaway for 1,000 subscribers. We're going to give away one of these t-shirts, uh, probably just a a gift package with everything that we've got the tarantula collective logo on put it all together in one package and we're gonna give it away to one lucky subscriber if you want to enter that contest all you got to do is subscribe there might be some other stuff i'm going to talk to some people that are in our group that uh, have their own businesses that have donated some prizes in the past see if they're interested so you know we might have multiple prizes or just one big huge gift package and uh, we'll work that out in the future so uh, just keep your ear out uh keep your eye out i guess would be more uh would be would make more sense <laughs> yeah that would make more sense i'll be announcing on instagram facebook youtube uh tumblr twitter all those things all right well i think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of tarantula tuesday tune back in next tuesday to see uh, what species we'll be covering then as well uh, if you got any questions send me a message i'd love to hear from you and with all that being said i've got some tarantulas to feed and uh it's getting late. I got to sleep sometime, so I better get out of here. Uh, until next time, I will see you next Tuesday.